Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. I promised you guys that I would be uploading a video in regards to, or actually a video to help you guys um, bring that person to reaching out to you if you guys haven't had communication, if there was an argument, or if there was actually a breakup. And you're trying to be constantly on their mind because you fear that they may forget about you, what, whatever situation this is, okay? I've been getting a lot, thousands of emails from you guys. Thank you guys very much for coming to me. For those of you guys that recently have came to me in regards to anything to do with um, magic, anything to do with work, um, in, re in regards to spellcraft, in regards to candle magic and all of that, thank you guys very much. I'm truly blessed and humbled that you guys quickly see results. For those of you guys that recently uh, came to me, thank you guys once again. So anyways, this again, like I said, this is a spell. This has been known throughout many, many years, okay? Anyone that is in the practice or anyone that knows about witchcraft or anyone that knows about the esoteric, we all know the power of the cigarette. Now, again, like I said, this has been known throughout centuries. Um, this is a very easy, very effective uh, spell to bring to bring that person to think of us, to miss us, and to reach out to us. Now, I do want to mention and put it out there. Um, th this is the thing, okay, when it comes to this. I ask you guys, the moment that this person reaches out to you guys, do not continue to do it. This is only to bring them to communicate with you, okay? Uh, this is not something that... Even if they don't, like an example, if you guys have been broken up and that person doesn't want to be with you in the relationship anymore, uh, you can proceed doing this and I guarantee you that they will reach out to you. Now, when that happens, do not continuously keep doing this because what you're doing is basically you're creating tension and anxiety for that person and we don't want to hurt or damage anyone, okay? So again... You're going to repeat this until you get the results, until they communicate, until they message you, until they call you, until they come looking for you. Once they have done point of contact, then you stop doing this, okay? Again, like I said, do not continuously keep doing it. Do not do it thinking that, again, that they're, you know, if they don't have any feelings for you, don't think that by doing it continuously, even after point of contact, it's going to make them want to settle with you or it's going to make them... Uh, basically bind them to you that's not the effect okay for that you need to look into other spellcraft other spells or again going to a professional uh, someone like myself or anyone else that you trust okay so with that caution <laughs> with that letting you guys because see the thing is that a lot of the times I do get people that tell me I kept doing it and you know they were communicating and all of a sudden they stopped. Well, yeah, because after they did the point of contact, you need to stop doing it. If you keep doing it, you're going to bring anxiety to them. And that anxiety is going to be reflected when you're around this person. So again, this is only to bring them to you once the point of contact has been done. Ultimately, it's up to you if you want to proceed with anything else or if you want to let the things evolve the way they're supposed to. Okay, so let's move forward. What you're going to be needing is a cigarette. It could be any type of cigarette, a cigarette you smoke. If you're a, if you're a non-smoker, you are gonna have to smoke a cigarette, okay? So again, like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of cigarette you use. Um, particularly, I'm gonna be doing this for a client of mine's. Um, so again, uh, you know, it, it, it is known for us. Uh, a lot of the times we do this um, through puros, what we call puros, or cigars, um, but it has the exact same effect. Now, the cigars, to me, preferably, uh, this is uh, this is more, you're able to pick up on more clarity, more information from a cigar, only if you know how to read them. So, again, the most, you know, they both have the same effect, except a cigar actually does give you or provide for you more information. If you don't know about that, maybe I'll do a video about that. But anyways, it has the same effect, okay? So what I'm going to be using this, again, like I said, this is for a client. Um, 
uh, please note for all of you guys that do contact me uh, for spellcraft and anything to do with esoteric, I always keep everything absolutely confidential. I do not put your, you know, your stuff out there. Um, I, I will continuously keep posting videos of spells and stuff. Um, I will not show their pictures, but I will be working uh, for them and uploading the videos as it saves me time. So anyways, um, so this is going to be, and the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, we have already proceeded to do a, um, a suing of, of them or bringing them to them, uh, giving them a little bit more feeling for that person. This is just going to show me where we're at right now and how to proceed. So again, like I said, do use this if you, this also has to do, and this is something I forgot to mention initially. I have been told, what can you do? For someone that is narcissistic or someone that is self-centered uh, for them to think of you or miss you if they are so strong-headed so throughout um, you know throughout the process of doing any type of spell work um, for us witches it's very easy to pick up on the person's energy when we're working them so we know how to pick up on certain things of you know if we need to make it stronger if we need to seal it if we need to etc etc now i do try the best i can to upload videos particularly those that are very effective and easy for you guys to do as i believe there's absolutely nothing but a blessing to learn um you know to protect yourself to bring people to you uh there is nothing selfish about this um it, it all has to do with perception and i'm not here to convince you if you're not okay with this type of videos please click out as i try the best i can to um you know anyone that follows me knows exactly what it is that i do and if you're open-minded i encourage you to learn more about it um not as in a form of oh come join what i do you know what i mean it, it's more about uh self-awareness uh having self-control having you know training your mind to actually bring to you what it is that you want in life there's absolutely nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being selfish because at the end of the day and i don't mean selfish in a narcissistic way i mean selfish in the sense of wanting to do better in life or wanting uh certain things certain people in our lives um anyways i'm not here to convince you so if you're not into this please click out of my video um, if you are for this, again, like I said, this is a very effective and very quick uh, spell that you could do and you'll get immediate results. So this does need um, the moon phase and the moon phase, it has to be, it has to, done, uh, has to be done a new moon or wa waxing moon, sorry. And waxing moon is basically the process of the new moon. Once it has became new moon, it continues to grow until it gets to full moon. It doesn't matter if you do it on full moon as well. Full moon will give you amplified energy, but again, my preference is through new moon and uh, waxing moon, which is growing moon, okay? So anyways, what you're going to be needing is, again, like I said, a cigarette, you're going to be needing some sugar, and you're going to be needing some coffee like I have right here, okay? It could be any type of coffee, doesn't matter. Um... You know, you guys get really into like, oh, what brand or <laughs> that doesn't matter, sweetheart. As long as it's coffee and sugar, does not matter. Uh, sorry if you guys see a little bit of mess as I have been working with other clients. So anyways, moving on. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to write the name. It has to be the first and last name of the person that you're wanting to call towards you. Now, it has to be in blue ink or red ink. It cannot be black ink. It cannot be freaking purple or <laughs> a purple ink, um, a pink ink, none of that, okay, you guys? If you guys are gonna do my videos, or sorry, not my videos, if you guys are gonna do my spells, please do it the way I tell you to do it. Do not, you know, if I say it has to be a red candle, then it has to be a red candle, okay? Unless I give you uh, an example in other videos it has to be cinnamon incense and then people ask me you know can I use incense sticks of course you can because it's cinnamon it actually amplifies the energy so please you guys use common sense okay 
So it has to be blue ink or red ink. Um, you're going to be writing the name of the person and it has to go from not the way we would write it going this way, going towards the right. You're going to do it from the boca, what we call, which is, you know, I'm not sure if you can see it from where you light the cigarette going down towards the filter okay so you're gonna put the name of the person and the date of birth try the best you can not to like really get deep into the cigarette because you obviously you're gonna rip it again like I said common sense people And what you're going to do is you're going to do it all over the cigarette, okay? So, I don't want you guys to see. Okay, so you're going to, you know, it has to go all the way around the cigarette. And again, you start off in where you light the cigarette, and then you go up towards the filter. Will it give you results? Absolutely. Everything I put up in regards to videos uh, that have to do with spell work, it is all effective. It has been tested <laughs> through many years. Um, not just, you know, myself, not just for my clients, but also uh, through other spiritual friends of mine. And again, like I said, a lot of these uh you know, a lot of these um, spells have been passed down to me, uh, have been tested, etc. So here's the thing, okay, you guys, when it comes to spell work, you have to have faith, okay? If you don't have faith or if you don't think that it's going to manifest for you, uh particularly because obviously you know most of you guys are not trained in the esoteric um you don't know how to project how to raise how to you know receive energy etc so you guys have to put a little bit of effort on your part and you have to have faith if you don't have faith you might as well not even waste your time okay and this is also when you go to people that help you in regards to anything that has to do with spell or witchcraft, um, you have the, you know, we put forth the effort, we put forth the rituals and the consecrations, etc. And yes, I, you know, it is guaranteed that you're going to get results. But at the end of the day, you have to have faith. If you don't have faith, do not even waste your time. I mean, that's just the way it works. Okay. So you guys, if you're going to try something, also, do it the way, exactly the way I tell you guys to do it. And again, like I said, I guarantee you guys will get results. All right. So once that is done, as you can see, it is absolutely, it has their full name if they have a middle name, please do not forget to put their middle name. If you don't know their full name or their last name, you cannot do this spell. You have to have their full name, birth name, okay? Um, an example of it's a person that is married and that person is no longer with their partner, but they're still legally married and you just know them by their legal last name. That it's not going to work. You need to know their full birth name and date of birth, okay? Very important for you guys to note that or to need that, actually, I should say.
So there is um there is a uh prayer that you can you're gonna have to say when you're done with this but again i will post it or link it on the on the description box below so anyways you're gonna have your coffee and your sugar okay so coffee obviously brings uh desesperamiento which is uh you know that need that desire that innate feeling of like wanting to reach out for, to them um it brings anxiousness they're not going to be at peace or at calm until they reach out to you and of course the sugar is going to sweeten them um uh, make them desire or make them uh you know miss you in a positive way uh what give me one second you guys So what do I mean in a positive way? Well, I mean in a positive way because, or what I mean by that is if you guys uh, recently broke up or separated and it was like it got nasty, uh, you guys didn't end on good terms, the sugar is going to amplify them missing you with positive experiences. So, you know, positive um Memories are going to come about in regards to when you guys were good, when the relationship was good, etc. So aside from the coffee and sugar that you need and the red pen or blue pen that you're going to need, you're also going to need some incense, okay? Now, I know a lot of people, um, you know, like I said, this is a very old very very old um spell and a lot of people you know may work it different ways or whatever but to me because it is a almost somewhat dominant type of spell um because you're not just making them miss you but you also want to put that extra ump you want to put that extra spice into it and you're gonna need incense so my suggestion is light uh, dragon's blood. It could be an incense. It could be an incense cone. It could be, um, you know, dragon's blood with sage, uh, herb. It doesn't matter. Like, it has to be dragon's blood, though. There has to be dragon's blood in it. As we all know, anyone that is knowledgeable about the incenses, um, dragon's blood is actually a very, very powerful very strong and effective incense in regards to anything to do with dominions having control over a situation having control over a person or having control of your emotions depending on what type of spell you're working okay so anyways we're gonna get to this so what you're gonna do first is you're going to light the cigarette and Give me one second while I... So you're going to light the, the cigarette. Again, like I've told you guys, if you're a male, you're going to go in an up way, or upright position. If you're a female, you're going to go in a downward towards you motion when lighting the cigarette. And you're going to do the prayer or call upon your spirit guides or call upon your saint, whomever you're working with. If you don't work particularly and you're just doing this for you, obviously you're doing this for yourself, um, you're just going to call on uh, the spirit of um, Desespero or I'll put, I'll put the prayer on the description box. It could be easier for you guys and all you have to do is just repeat it, okay? So give me one second. So when you light it the first time and you take a hit, make sure to put saliva on the filter. Okay, and this is how I light it, okay? So what you're looking at is you're going to look at how it burns and you're also going to look at the information it gives you. Please note, your right side is the the right side of the cigarette is always your energy the left side is always the the person that you're doing this for uh that person's energy 
And what you're looking for when you're doing this is if, in fact, you see like right here, not sure if you can see it, um, but anyways, if it has holes, okay, meaning like very noticeable holes, um, it could be one, it could be like up to four, whatever, but they're almost in a line like here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but anyways, uh, that means that that person is constantly thinking of you. Now, if you do find two holes uh, or circles um, and the cigarette is going towards the left side, that means that that person is thinking or dealing with someone else or that they're talking to someone else, okay? As you can see, I just lit this and it's already going towards the right. So that's telling me, again, like I told you guys initially in the beginning of this read of this reading, in the beginning of this uh, spell, that we had already worked on them uh, with, you know, swinging them or putting uh, more, you know, love feelings for them. Um, so again, you see that it's going towards the right. And that means that obviously um, they've already been worked and, and this person is coming towards you. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get some uh, some sugar, and you're going to put some sugar on the ashes that's burning, okay, like so. And you're going to get some coffee, and you're going to put it as so, okay? And you continue to smoke. Now, you see that part where it's like really bright? Well, it's going down now, but it was really bright. If you get, if you actually put attention to it, you can almost see like a little face on that. This is telling you if, an example, if this is your first time doing it and you've never worked this person and you see a little face or a little picture of something, that represents that that person has been worked on or that they've done spells or et cetera, et cetera on them. Okay, obviously I see that right here, but obviously I know that it's because of what we've been doing. Now the thing is, do not throw the ashes unless they fall, because that also tells you something, okay? Now, if you see it, okay, if you look at it, it's going in a downward position, going down, the, the, ash, the ashes are going down, or it's burning going down. What that means or what that represents is obviously that, that, that we're dominating that person, that that person is actually bending you know let me put more sugar on this and coffee okay so what you're going to be saying here in this process again i will put the prayer in the description box but what you guys can say out loud is you see that So what you guys are going to be saying here is, you know, you're going to think of me. You're going to constantly miss me. You're going to constantly think of me day and night. You're not going to rest. You're not going to eat. You're not going to drink until you come to me. You will feel restless. You will think of me day and night. You will think of me 24-7, 24, 24 days, 7 days out of the week. Constantly thinking of me until you come back into my life. Call me and then you say the person's name. And you continuously keep putting the coffee and the sugar. Play, uh, play. Um, please put very close attention to how it's burning and where, what direction the ashes are actually going or how the cigarette is actually burning, okay? See, so you, you can see this more noticeably like that. It's going towards the right. 
So going towards the right is basically letting you know that this person is obviously coming towards my client um, or, you know, if it's burning and it's going towards the to, towards the right, it's definitely telling you that they're coming your way, that they're reaching out to you. If it's going down, it's going to the right and downward. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay. This is straight. It's going to the right and downward. So what that means is that we're dominating this person, that we are very close to getting results, that they are constantly thinking of my client, that they are missing them, that they are wanting to reach out. So we continuously keep putting coffee and sugar on it. You see? It is completely to the right and downward. Oop, there we go. So that's, okay, so look. The ashes fell, right? But you still see it going towards the right and in a downward position. That is absolutely positive as it's letting me know that what we did is already starting to have an effect on this person and they will quickly communicate. A matter of days, you guys. So of course you continuously keep um, smoking it. You're gonna have to do this very patiently, you guys. You cannot rush this, okay? You cannot um, you cannot rush this. You cannot do it when there's distractions. You can't. You have to anything to do with spellcraft, you guys. You have to truly concentrate on what you guys are doing. You cannot rush it. You cannot. You know what I mean? So do this when you guys really have downtime. When you guys are truly alone and, you know, no one's going to bother you. This is very important. Anything to do with spellcraft and witchcraft, you guys have to have respect. You guys have to um, put effort. The way you want results, that's the type of effort you need to put into it. Almost, you know, in a very loving way. Okay? See, right here, sorry you guys, I was interrupted. My phone started ringing. Anyways, um, again, like I said, you guys have to pay attention to this. Um, again, you see that it's very lit right at the center, obviously because of what we've done. Um, again, very important, pay attention. Now, the last, almost getting towards the filter is very important and I'm gonna show you guys why. Now. Again, like I said, it's without a doubt to me that this person should be reaching out to my client within a couple of days. Uh, the, you know, the most, if anything, four days. So if you're watching this video, sweetheart, there you go. Um, and again, you know, you guys will be able to know because if this person, if you're doing this and the person has completely dropped out of the map, they haven't communicated with you whatsoever, you know, and it's starting to go towards the left and you already know that this person is pretty much messing around with someone else or talking to someone else and you're obviously not on their mind. Will this put you in their mind? Will you be crossing their mind? Absolutely, you guys. Okay, but you're going to need to do this as many times as you need to until you see that it starts leaning towards the right, which is your they're coming your way. And the more information the cigarette gives you, meaning, you know, when it's going down or when it's going to the right, that's, you know, pretty much when they'll be coming your way. So if you don't see that, uh, for a lot of you guys, you're not going to see this result right away. Obviously, you have to put effort into it. Um, but I highly, you know, encourage you guys to, you know, take your sweet time when doing this. And again, like I said, when you start seeing um, that it's leaning towards the right, that this person is coming towards you, that you're constantly on their mind, then you continuously keep doing this uh, almost religiously until they reach out. The moment they reach out, you guys, you stop this, you stop doing this, okay? Very important for you guys to know. Okay, so I was saying the moment it gets to the filter, that's when it becomes very important. You guys pay close attention to this. As we see, 
not sure if you can see closely, but there is almost like, you know, a line that's going from their side, from their side to your side. Okay, right here. Not sure if you can see it. Right there. You see it? That line is from their side all the way to yours. That's where the communication happens, you guys. That's when they're communicating with you or when they will communicate with you. Now, if I put it, you know, straight, you guys can see that it's going down. It's still going down. So that means that they, we are dominating them. We're dominating their thought pattern. We're dominating their thoughts constantly on their mind. And this person is definitely reaching out, again, like I said, because of that line. If you guys don't see that line, it means you are constantly on their mind if it's leaning towards the right, but they're still not having enough desire or enough want to reach out to you guys. So you guys need to continuously keep doing this until you see a line uh, that crosses uh, from their side all the way to your side. That means that that's where the communication happens. So again, I guarantee if you guys do this with faith, you will definitely get results. You will definitely get results and again, um, do this only if you have the time. Do not rush into this. You have to do it very, very, um, you know, putting effort and stuff. So anyways, as you can see, not sure if I can, you see how it went down? That means we have overpowered them. That means that they will be reaching out. Again, I seen the line already, so I already know. Again, like I said, the most four days and they reach out. Okay, so the cigarette or the ashes have uh, fallen you can see that it's it, even looking at it this way it's still going down so that means that we have absolutely accomplished what we set out to do so this person will be reaching out again like i said uh if you guys are interested in personalized uh spell work definitely contact me my contact information is on the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and light and love to all of you guys. I wish you guys very quick results. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.